Hey, welcome in. You're listening to the daily version of the Corlin Economics Report. I'm Al Corlin. Appreciate you joining me. Last day of March, March 31st. I hope you guys had a good one. I hope you have a great April Fool's Day tomorrow. This program is being produced exclusively for my friends at Kitco, and I got Trader Raj, my buddy, who is a uh, regular daily contributor to our uh, to our radio show, helping me out. Roger, you know, I, I just did an interview with Brian London from the Gold Show, and we were kind of talking about, uh, you know, what's going on in precious metals right now. And you know, one day the markets are up, one day the markets are down. I don't see any definitive direction right now. Do you? Sure do. Okay, what is it? Well, you know, Brian may be looking at some longer charts than I am, and in his defense, he's probably correct in looking at those at that, you know, kind of a position. Uh, because we do futures and commodities, I've got run, real-time charts running on my uh, computers. Mm-hmm. And this morning, uh, gold opened at fourteen twenty-two, the high price fourteen thirty-nine. Mm-hmm. So that's a big move. Sure. Uh, number next, uh, May silver most active. Uh, silver today did open at 37.44, hit a high of 37.98. Trading range 60 cents. Trading range for gold 18 dollars. Now, what I had expected Al, to happen this week was that because of the month end being today and a weekend coming, uh, we expected balancing of accounts and a lot of flat, nowhere, choppy trading. And surprise, surprise, gold took off this morning, and so did silver. Mm-hmm. Uh, so did the related currencies in the Swiss franc. Uh, the dollar was down a little, not much. Bonds are flat also. And also, uh, it's good to watch oil because oil is the big driver of the commodities index. It's 50% of it. And oil this morning opened at 104, hit a high of 107.77. Uh, at one point here, the trading range was up. Two dollars and sixty-five cents. Uh, oil right now is up two percent at uh, uh, one hundred and six and change, and it appears that the forecast that we had between generally about now, the end of this month, through the April ten fifteen range uh, for a rally, it has begun. I just did not expect it on this last trading day. Uh, I think that what that signals is is that precious metals are getting more pressure than ever to the buy side. And a lot of these traders and investors are not going to wait just because a weekend's coming or it's because of month-end reconciliation. They're pretty much putting that aside and saying, okay, it's going to go a lot higher. Also, we got a, a national report on the news this morning. The Walmart CEO said, if you you think inflation's on its way, watch what's coming. Right. That one really blasted the markets. And I think that was very helpful for commodities. Oh, no question about that. Yeah, it, it's interesting that source coming from, of all places, Walmart. It was interesting to say the least. Okay, well, there you have it. Trader Raj says he sees continued upward direction in precious metals. Big Al is a little cautious. Let's see what happens. We're going to be back with you guys tomorrow. <laughs>